Okay, Sarah, can you start your recording? Okay. Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome from Guatemala. I'm here in Guatemala. I'm Eileen. And we're like really, really, really excited to have Susana Mittermeier in the Zoom. We have Sarah in El Salvador doing the Spanish translation. So if you weren't supposed to be in the English Zoom and you want the Spanish Zoom, you're still in time to go to the Spanish Zoom with Sarah who's doing the translation. And we have a great topic for today. Thank you, Susana, for joining us. And the topic is being the voice of wealth, which I understand you also have a class called being the voice of wealth. So I leave you up to the group. So take Thank it. You. <laughs> Thank you so much. And if you want to be on both Zooms um, and uh, you uh, want to be on a, in the English Zoom to see what's going on here and you want to be on the Spanish to get the translation, you can actually have it all, you know? So yes. wealth going on here. So there's just two links and you can choose if you want to be on both or just on one. So, um, cool. and just and one Spanish thing, if anybody link. has a question in Spanish, you can just write it down in the Spanish chat and I'll, I'll just uh, translate it for Susana. And the Spanish Zoom link is in the chat here if you'd like to have both, as Susana said, so I just posted it in here. Awesome. Thank you so much, ladies. That's such a gift. <laughs> That's true wealth, um, actually. So, wow, wealth for so many people is money and money only. And money is definitely, absolutely, for sure, included in wealth. But if you make wealth only about money, all you will have left is lack. Okay, so if you make wealth only about money, you have no choice than having lack. So, um, I have no idea if you guys ever heard about the access consciousness clearing statement. I would need a thumb up from Sarah or Eileen's checking the people who are there. If you have a sense that I can just go for it um, without explaining. So, and if, if, if there is something else required um, in, you know, a little bit more explaining of what I do and the tools I use, just let me know. Like we can ask questions here to get more, more ease and clarity. So, so everywhere you've made wealth only about the money, which gives you no other choice than lack. Will you please destroy and uncreate at times a godzillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Yep, let's start this Zoom with BAM um, and go for it. So it's, it's, um, it's amazing how our perspective and how our point of view shapes our world. And we so underestimate our own power and the power of the points of view we have. So if you have the point of view, I have to get money in order to be wealthy, what are you creating from? What perspective are you creating from? What point of view do you have that shapes your reality? So this work is a lot about becoming aware of what points of view you're using to create your world. And then by becoming aware of those points of view, knowing that you are the one who created that points of view, so you also have what it takes to let them go and to dissipate them and release them from your world, which is good news. You know, it's like, I know we like to blame other people, like uh, preferably stepmothers and mothers and, um, and, and family. That's very cozy and very convenient. And if it's fun for you, you can do that. Um, but if you want to empower yourself and if you really want to change your world, um, you might want to acknowledge that how your life is showing up right now is something you created, which is really cool to know. And it's great news because then you also can uncreate it and you can create something different that works better. So our points of view create our reality. And again, if you have the point of view that wealth comes, is only about money, then how much lack are you creating? So everything that that is times a godzillion, will you please destroy and uncreate it? 
right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And, um, sorry. <sighs> I'm just having a, a Emily situation. <sighs> Can I have a tissue? Just having a, a grandmother that is, um, she's just dying right now, so. I'm like, oh, so sorry for this. <laughs> and, you know, this energy that just comes up also. Um, you know, like, wealth for me is so much about the contribution you're willing to receive. Thank you so much. And um, oh, I love doing the Zooms in all kinds of shapes and situations. <laughs> so... Um, it's like for me, like wealth is so much about um, the contribution you're receiving. And, um, and there is like contributions everywhere. Contribution is in the people around you. Contribution is in the, in the nature around you. And it's like, what vulnerability could you be to receive the contribution around you with total ease? It's like, how much are you trying to be a lonely fighter who just creates everything by yourself. And that's also, that's also some aspect of, of lack. You know, if you have the point of view that it's up to you and up to you only, then how much are you fighting against you? So everything that that is, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So, you know, people like my grandmother, for example, um, She's one of those extremely kind, fun, and caring people who um, is such a gift and such a contribution. And she has always been like, for example, I've been a, I've been a child that's been very different and weird, <laughs> um, um, like in a like always like didn't fit in. I don't know about you guys listening to this. Maybe you've been also children who didn't fit in anywhere when you grew up and still don't <laughs> and um i surely didn't so for me um coming to my grandmother was always a a place where i had space to be me and um and it was a, she's a person that never judged me and she just like hey whatever you need to you know be you go for it and that's also wealth that's like the you know like people who contribute to you they're like offering a space of wealth and contribution that if you receive it, expands every area of your life. And it's like, what if you ask for it? What if you ask, if you, if you just like, if you don't have a two-legged, um, you know, being in your world right now that provides that, um, ask for it, ask for, you know, ask for people, ask for things that contribute to you and provide the sense of wealth for you that you think you're lacking right now. So everything that that is and everything doesn't allow that, will you please destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and yawn. So um, it's, it's incredible what, what actually is available to us. And, and I'm sure you all know that if you have ever been out in nature and took a walk, and you have like, they're like nature trees, they, you know, there's such a gift and such a nurturing element because they don't judge you. They don't go, come on, change. And, you know, look at this and you have to pot and pock that and they don't force anything. They're just like, hi, hi. And thank you for being here. And thank you for being you. And, um, and that's like, that's something we can all practice to receive more. So wealth and money and the creation of wealth and money is a lot about being and receiving. That's what we call to assume being the voice of wealth. Because if you want to create more wealth, if you want to create more money, you got to be willing to be the space of money. Money is a space. It's like if you, if you get the energy of um, whatever your currency is, we have very many different currencies here. <laughs> we have uh, euros and dollars and I don't know what Guatemala, do you have... What kind of currency do you have? Dollars? We have quetzales. Quetzales. 
Yeah. Ah, cool. I never actually heard about that. Cool. So, so um, if you if we like get the energy of let's say ten dollars, whatever that is in Kitsalis, um, and you get the energy of that, okay. Um, and now um, get the energy of um, ten thousand dollars, whatever that is in your currency. So, and this is not about one is better than the other. But there is a different space to each amount. Okay, so if you get the energy of ten dollars, and now get the energy of ten thousand, and now get the energy of a hundred thousand, get the energy of a million. So if, if you would ask for those different amounts, if you would ask for ten thousand for a hundred thousand or a million what would each amount require of you to be to invite it and create it with total ease it's like if you're only the like if you're if you're asking for let's say fifty thousand dollars or something um but your world is like all about the energy of a hundred dollars then those energies they don't match it's like there's a, a discordance between them so this is where you can start allowing yourself to be the energy of whatever amount you're asking for. And then the next part is like being is, is like married to receiving. Like they go together. They, never, they can never be alone. Like being and receiving, they go together. So if you're, if you're asking for whatever amount you're asking for, you got to be willing to be that energy. And at the same time, receive, um, receive the energy of it and receive whatever it takes to create that, you know? So, um, and the, the amazing thing is um, how many of you are trying to make it logic and linear? It's like, oh, what do I have to do to create this and this money? What steps do I have to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like in IKEA furniture, you know, like you try to put them together and there's always something missing and then you go crazy. So everything that that is will you destroy and create it. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and yawn. So um, if you, um, you want to create wealth and money, can't be linear it's not about um you know i have this amount and i can only spend that and then i have to do this to get that it, it's not it doesn't, doesn't work this way it's like um invite those energies and those people and those things that contribute to you growing wealth wealth is something you want to build and grow um and and you and you might want to start with um Okay, I'm, I'm, I can give you an example. So uh, some years ago, I was realizing that I was working a lot, um, basically all the time, and I had fun working, and I knew there was, some, there was something else that I wanted to add to my life. And I got the energy of it, but I didn't um, know how that would come, and I didn't even have a picture of what, how that would come. I was just, I remember I had a foundation class in Hamburg, and I was sitting in a beautiful hotel room um, and I just had this wonderful, amazing class and I already then loved my business and creation. And I was sitting there, I was wondering, okay, I, there's something more nurturing I would like to add to my life. What is possible? And years ago, I asked about that too, you know, and so um, short um, like that time, short time later, Gary Douglas, the founder of Access, he said, hey, Susanna, I have this horse. Um, here he is. Do you want to buy him? And a horse was not on my shopping list at that time. You know, I was not going, oh, you know, I would like to have a new dress and I would like to have a horse. That was not on my list. Um, so, and I hadn't even learned how to ride, you know, I was, I wasn't, I didn't consider myself as a horseback rider. I've been sitting on a horse a couple of times, but no technique, nothing, you know, and here he was, oh, do you want to buy this horse? And I'm like, so he showed him to me. I looked at him and I went, yes. And I'm like, what did I just say? Are you, what? I'm buying a horse. I don't even know how to ride. 
But that horse matched the energy of what I had asked to add to my life previously. And having this horse in my life, what occurred is um, receiving his nurturing, receiving his healing, and receiving his kindness and joy and craziness um, did something to my world where my business expanded, my finances expanded. Did it make sense? No, because a horse costs money when you buy it. A horse costs money when you, you know, have to buy food for it or when it needs something for its body. So there's a lot of costs involved. So logically, it's not supposed to make you money at all. But it did in a different way because it changed my world. And then, um, so then later when I was sitting in a hotel room in Hamburg, you know, in the middle of this amazing foundation class in this wonderful hotel going, ah, I'd like to have more of this nurturing, amazing energy in my life. What else is possible? Well, short later, I met Jürgen, my, my enjoyable other in a, in a, in a male body. And, and, and that was not on my shopping list either. You know, I did not go, I'm looking for a man. I just knew this is an energy that I was um, looking for and asking for. And then it came and I said, universe, come on, really in form of a man? Oh, you know, I wasn't asking for trouble. I was asking for ease. But then I had all these points of view, you know, about relationship and, and how not easy it can be. And I had the point of view and never wanted a relationship and all that crap. So I had to work with my points of view and let them go. And then I could receive his nurturing and that kindness and nurturing that he is and that space he is expands my world and my wealth every day. So, and then I asked for, you know, that with the business and then Eva showed up and Eva has this amazing kindness space living you know, brilliance that she is. And then that is a contribution to me and, and my world and my business. And, and it's like this whole, like, you know, what if you start asking for what nurtures you, what nurtures your life, what nurtures your world and, and then start not having point, a point of view about how that should show up, you know, and just like allow that wealth to be part of your world and expand your world and, and nurture you in ways that kind of like trigger you and go, shit, I can't really receive that. It's like, how good are you um, at receiving judgments? I mean, you might think you hate judgments and you, you can't receive them, but what is easier for you? Somebody who thinks you're an asshole or somebody who really goes, wow, you changed my world because of you, everything is different. So what is easier for you, the first or the second truth, you know? So for most, the second one is, is, is more difficult because it requires you to access you in a way that's, you know, it's so different, you know? It's so, yeah, but that's not me. I've decided I'm an asshole. So that point of view matches, you know, so I can receive that. But me being amazing, um, not sure if I want to know that because if I would know that, then I wouldn't have an excuse anymore to, you know, have all this stuff going on in my life that I'm trying to make real. That is not. So everything that that is, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shorts, boys and young. So um, wealth might be something totally, totally different than you've ever, ever considered. And um, it's, it's truly about being, being the voice of wealth. And if you ever are looking for a book that contributes to you, there is, um, there's one called how to become money. And it's from, it's, it's by Gary Douglas. Um, I don't know if there's a co-author. I don't think so. Um, and it's a, it's a workbook. And I must say, I hate workbooks uh, because I want to read books. I don't want to write stuff in them. You know, that's never been my thing. But that's the only workbook that actually is pragmatic enough for my taste um, so far that I've met. It's where you really become aware of your points of view. And then you go, oh, I can change them. 
I can just let them go and I can start to receive because the only thing that keeps you from receiving are your points of view. So what points of view are you using to limit your receiving? Are you choosing? And everything that that is, will you please destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and yawns. What I loved so much, um, it's a while ago when Dane said that he was not doing well or his body wasn't doing well and he had to uh, facilitate um, four days of class and was just asking to receive the contribution from everything. And now when I'm turning or switching this around for me, like when I choose to be everything, how wealthy am I? And as you said right at the beginning, it's not always about the money. And if I choose to receive and be everything, that opens so many doors for me. And for the world. Yeah, that's huge. And I love what you say. It's if I be everything I am, how wealthy am I? And that is opening up doors for you and the world. If you make that choice to access more of you and receive the wealth that that brings, you open up doors for the world because that's a paradigm that's not normal yet on our planet. Everything is about what can I get and how can I make sure I'm not losing? And that for me is so 80s. It's like, okay, um, guys, it's time to get over that one. And, you know, and okay, we've been living this for such a long time and this world has been trying to seduce us, believing that that's all there is. But truth, what do you know? You know, do you know that there is a different paradigm out there where there's infinite receiving and there's infinite possibilities and there's never lack? So, okay, let's do this. If you, if you, tap, at the, if you tap into the energy of all the money in the world, you know, like get the energy of all the money in the world in all currencies, in all countries, and not just the coins or the the paper, but the energy of the money that's in the world, is there really a lack? No. But you will be, be aware of, of people who invent the point of view of lack. So everything that that is, and everywhere you agree and align and resist and react that allows that to exist, will you please destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah. So that is my invitation with uh, being the voice of wealth um, to create a future that works for us. Yeah. So any questions? Otherwise, we might have done, you know, what we came here for, for today. And there's so much more. I mean, there's tools and you know practical things for your daily life in that um and uh that are available and actually i'm gonna teach a class uh, about the voice of wealth to create a future that works for you in mexico a one-day class you can do it online as well or come to mexico um <laughs> and uh so and we're gonna have a lot of fun in guatemala i know I've never been there this lifetime, this lifetime, this lifetime, but definitely before, because you're uh, coming yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So in Guatemala, we're going to have the right voice for you class and the pragmatic psychology class. Yes. And those are like truly about wealth as well. Cause right voice for you is, is a, you know, um, if you have something that you uh, want to bring into the world, uh, like a product or a business or you, you know, you as the awesomeness you are, and then have at the same time this hiding you and avoiding the voice you are in the world. You know, it's like this conflictual paradigm that so many humanoids and creative, awesome people have. They're like, I'm so excited about bringing this out into the world, but, and then they, you know, they hide and hold themselves back. And that's okay. It's not wrong. It's just like, you know, it's a bit of a pity to the world because your ideas probably is something that nobody else has. 
And if you always look for a confirmation in other people's worlds, if it's okay to be different and to, you know, if nobody ever thought about it, maybe it's stupid, maybe it's not, maybe it's brilliant and the world needs exactly your perspective. And what if it's time to voice it so you can inspire other people? So that's what Right Voice for You is about. It's about, it's a creation class. It's about creativity. It's not about singing. It's not about, you know, it's nothing to do with that. It's, uh, it's about your being and allowing your being to speak and then expressing it in the way that you know works for you and creates more for you and the world. And in the pragmatic psychology classes, well, that's something that um, is my... Uh, Oh, I am so grateful for that life form. It's something that Gary Douglas and I created years ago. Um, so originally I'm in this reality called a psychologist and I worked with, with psychotherapy and I worked in mental health with um, people with all kinds of diagnosis. And, and what I always saw was, um, you know, people are just seen as wrong and insane and crazy. And the doctor would say, you know, now, okay, this person do a test on them see if they really have this diagnosis so my job was to to um you know give people diagnosis and then um and then do psychotherapy with them to fix them and i never got it i never got that paradigm because i'm like i do not see a person who is insane or sick i see a person who functions different and who sees the world differently who has not been acknowledged for it and who doesn't have the tools to use their difference to create their lives. So for me, pragmatic means doing what works rather than being dramatic and looking at what's wrong and why there's a time for a different paradigm around this whole thing called difference and insane. It's about, um, you know, discovering what a resource that difference is and start using it. It's like we see people and it's starting now. It's like years ago, this was so crazy. Now it's like the seeds are out there and they start blooming. And you see that in different examples. I don't know if you guys know Greta Thunberg, um, the Swedish climate girl, uh, the 17 year old. And she, she, um, you know, she has her perspective on everything and we don't have to agree and align to everything. You know, everybody has their perspective, but she's someone who, she she's using her voice and she um is someone who she says like she has asperger's and she also says yeah, i have asperger's and i'm so grateful for it because uh with my asperger's i um don't tend to listen to your guys bullshit i am not interested in it and and i'm i'm very happy because i'm not distracted by small talk because i can't even engage in it i just don't have the capacity to it. My Asperger makes me want to focus on what I know and find out more about climate change and use it to create a future and for us to even have a future. And so she goes out there and, and Europeans know her. I don't know if she's known around the world, but we hear, we hear about her like almost every day in the news. Um, cause she, uh, you know, she's like speaking at all these big conferences and, and stuff like that. And, and people also like criticize her and, you know, well, welcome to this world. But anyway, she's like, she's talking about using her so-called diagnosis to her advantage, which is like, wow, this is what we're talking about, you know, and it's the same with ADHD. It's the same with, um, you know, OCD. It's the same with even things like depression, panic, all, all things that are being diagnosed are the things that are, where you're being classified as insane but that insane is the sanity that changes our world so it's like turning everything upside down and and uh, when i speak about this at, at psychiatry conferences i always expect people to throw tomatoes rotten tomatoes and go oh no it's you know it's like that's that's not the way it is it's not logical but they don't you know i'm like come on, where are the tomatoes? Keep throwing them. But they're never tomatoes because um, it's, you know, if you say what is, if you speak to what is, um, who can say it's bullshit? You know, it's, it's, it's just, 
you know, um, time for a different way of looking at things and, and then discovering how to use, use all these things and rather than suffering your difference, celebrating it and using it. So everywhere you're suffering your difference rather than using your difference and celebrating your difference, will you please destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and yawns. And um, I just had a station class in Germany this past weekend. And there was a woman talking about how, um, like she's around 50 now, I think. And when she was eight, she had sexual abuse. And um, she went, of course, to different therapies and also spiritual things and all kinds of modalities. And, and she still had this, uh, you know, she actually started to, t like when she asked the question, she actually talked about that she has trouble seeing through her left eye. And uh, so I asked some questions around it and I'm like, so what, what is that? You know, what, what's coming up for you when you talk about your left eye? And um, she said, well, um, I, I'm not sure, but like, so is it something physical? You know, she's like, no, the doctor said that there's nothing physical. So, so what is it? And so she kept talking about it. And she, she said, while we were talking about it, she remembered that she was taking care of her um, uncle when she was eight, who was blind. And uh, she had to take him for a walk. And every time he, she, they would go for a walk, he would abuse her sexually. And, um, and, so, and so we talked about, uh, and so she realized, wow, that thing that she called abuse that she thought it was about the eye, but then like we, we got to that abuse thing and she realized, wow, like the thing that she should suffer was actually a strength where she like took care of that man and had a level of caring for him, even though he abused her, that she never acknowledged. And when she got to the acknowledgement of the caring for him, like there was so much unlocking in her body and her world around that abuse. And her eyesight changed and her body changed. And she said, I've never felt so freed and so like facilitated and so much, so much lightness around this. Because I always thought that I had to suffer what happened. I had to suffer my past, you know, rather than wait a second. If I turn on the lights, if I look from a pragmatic perspective, what really was going on? And there were so diff many different aspects we talked about that there's no time to talk about this right now, but um, there were so many different we look things we looked at, but she, she realized that, oh my God, if I don't have the point of view that this is something I'm supposed to suffer, because that's normal. I can see what really was going on and this whole like universe of lightness and ease shows up and sh like, holy moly, did her body change. We're like, wow. Like she used to make herself like, try to not be as beautiful as she are is, and like, wow, her face changed her body changed and everybody went whoa and she got a whole sense totally different sense of her and her body so um again everybody you're suffering your difference rather than celebrating it and using it to create your life will you destroy and uncreate all that please right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds yep so that's what we're going to play with. And um, there's more to come. And uh, yeah, anything else for now? Well, apparently we don't, we don't have any questions in the Spanish Zoom. Um, so cool. I don't know if we have questions in this Zoom, if there, anybody has a question. I will unmute myself uh, to ask a question that keeps being repeated at me uh, frequently. And it's when we talk about being um, abundant and receiving, uh, some people get really stuck with their day to day bills. Like, for example, I'm, you know, drawing energy for my world and receiving from everything. But I have uh, the patients say I have concrete bills to pay, like school fees or mortgage fees or um, I don't know. Uh, day-to-day -day living fees and they they don't seem to be able to make 
ends meet. So um, what's a question or, or a suggestion or, or some way to make them go with ease through this um, lack of enough money to pay for the day-to-day -day bills? I will translate the question uh, in the Spanish. And I will be quiet while you're translating or at least try to be quiet while you translate, <laughs> while still talking while you translate. <laughs> if you wonder why I'm quiet, I'm waiting for translation. Okay, ready? Good. Okay, so the question about what do I do with bills? that need to be paid on a daily basis. Um, so um, it's, again, the perspective you have. So um, you can ask yourself, am I making my life about getting by and making sure I can stay alive or am I making my life about living? Okay, so everywhere you're making your life about only getting by. And by the way, how normal does it make you to make your life about only getting by? Okay, like that's, that's how most people are and that's how most people are functioning from the point of view of getting by. And so everywhere you try to be normal by just getting by rather than truly living, Will you please destroy and uncreate it? <sighs> right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. So um, even if you might not know how to pay, pay your bills, um, what if you become clear on, okay, so what are my expenses for each month? Because with money, it's really cool to be clear. You know, it's really cool to turn on the lights and seeing, okay, what are my expenses per month? And then also go, what would I like to also add to my life besides the expenses? Maybe it's traveling. Maybe it's like, um, you know, whatever is fun for you uh, or doing classes or whatever it is. And then you add that amount to what it is you have uh, as a, you know, basic expense and then you ask for that amount okay so you ask for that amount and you don't try and don't go into but how okay the how is not your job it's about becoming clear on what is it i'm asking for per month okay asking for it and then asking what space can i be to create that and what action is required to create that. It's like, what action is required to create that money that you're asking for with ease? And you don't have to have the answer in the next second, okay? Just like throw the question out there and go, okay, so this is what I'm asking for. What action is required to start head heading in that direction? And everything that doesn't allow you to be, nor perceive, and receive that will you destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys, and beyond. So when I, when I was um, employed as a psychologist, my, um, what's it called, wage, my payment per month, um, it was okay. You know, like Sweden is not, you're not getting very well paid as a psychologist you know, as opposed to other countries. So I had like an okay wage, but, you know, and I could afford the foundation class and the COP, but then I wanted to do the seven day class um, that was at that time in Costa Rica. And I'm in, I was in Europe, so, you know, a bit far to travel. And so the airfare and the class and everything, I did not have that money, you know? So I'm like, but I know I want to go to this class. I just know I have to be there. This will change my life. And so I'm like, universe, this is where I'm going. This is what I'm choosing. This is the space I'm choosing. Let me know what's required to create that. And so um, 
things showed up, you know, like uh, the electricity bill. Suddenly, you know, they sent me money back because I had to pay too much. Um, you know, another person gave me a lot of tips, you know, for the sessions I gave. More, more clients showed up, so I had to work more. Yeah. But, you know, so pff, that's fun. <laughs> that's not a problem. So things started to show up, different like invitations to actions that I could take so I could create that money. And then voila, it showed up. So it's like, if you ask for those amounts, also be aware of what action is required and also what points of view are coming up. We go, yeah, but that's not possible. Oh no, I couldn't do that. Or, oh no, whatever it is, you know, doubt stuff. And then use the tools and go, okay, everything that that is, I destroy and I create it. Or, yeah, interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Wow, interesting point of view. I have this point of view. And, um, and keep on creating, even if it's not showing up right away. Um, don't ever give up. Um, the, my, my grandmother, she always used to say, I don't, I don't know if this makes sense in English because it's a German expression. Um, I'm going to say it anyway. Probably doesn't make sense in English. But maybe, maybe Eva can help me with a better translation. The only thing you give up is a letter. Because in German, the word giving up, like when you send a letter, it's, it says, you say giving up a letter. So she used to say, like, the only thing that you ever give up is a letter nothing else you know i love that that's so funny yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> i know it makes sense in german but it's like and i'm like that's so true like never give up even if it doesn't show up right away okay stand up again fix your crown and move on cool yes. so susana we have a question in the spanish chat uh someone is asking what question do you suggest uh, to create a work team that would be a contribution for my world uh, in a fun way for me? Um, okay, so it, this is a very big question, but I can try to like answer it very shortly. Um, if you want to add people to your life, uh, get the energy of what it is you're asking for. Like what, uh, like what, what, energies would be a contribution to what I'm creating right now. Get the sense of it, throw the question out there, like ask it, throw the question out there and, and then, um, and then invite those people, whether they match your, you know, previous list of who, what people you find good or not, you know, it's like, just go, okay, does this match what my business requires? Cool. Thank you. And we have another question. It mm -hmm. says, if I have so much debt, um, is it okay to just um, go into more debt to cover all those expenses for what's fun for me? <laughs> um, well, that's, that would be a more a conclusion question. Um, so if you have an expense, if you have debt and you have another expense, ask if i buy this what will this create what future will this create if i buy this what future will this create okay will this create more money or less money in the future okay cool awesome my friends gotta go to the next happening um so thanks for being different and weird and listening to this all the way. Um, that's definitely proof that you're different. <laughs> so what if you start enjoying that rather than suffering it? And uh, maybe see you uh, somewhere online again or live in person at some of the classes. Um, I'm going to be around the world now in different locations and always available online also. So thank you for you. Let's change the world with way too much fun and um thank you ladies for making this happen thank you yeah. so much for thank your contribution you. susanna thank yes. you
Sarah, can you let the people know in the Spanish Zoom that I will be sending out the recordings and all the information for the Guatemala classes um, in an email from Susana? Okay, sure. Let me tell them. Ahorita enseguida Eva les va a mandar a todos sus 